What's up, Helix users? This is Steve Sterlachi, and today we are doing something that I have no idea about. I am a self-proclaimed midiot. I usually don't use MIDI in any of my setups and hardly ever use it at all. So today we are fixing a problem that I have. It's Christmas season, which means that we have our really big Christmas show at um, the Paramount in Peekskill, New York. And for the first time ever, we took this on the road. And the main problem that I'm getting at with this is that this show has a lot of dancers and a lot of guests and a lot of like craziness going on on the stage. And what that means for me is that I need to kind of, since I'm wireless and I'm free to roam the stage, I typically have to be on the move and out of the way more so than anything. And sometimes I'm up on a riser, sometimes I'm on the floor in my normal position, and I have to be able to do both. So we just took the show on the road. We played a few um, a few tour dates on this show, and I realized that I have a pro I have a solution to the problem that I have, and that problem is that I can't make my changes. I can't press buttons from two places at once. So I decided to fix that problem. And here's a quick look at what our stage looks like. So my Helix will live about here. As you can see on the big stage here, there'll be dancers and everything all throughout. And I'm also going to be needing to stand up here. So I'm going to run that MIDI cable from here to there so that I have a little bit of a modular setup where I can um, be up here, make my changes and not have to run all the way over there. So when I make my changes, I would have to like sprint up to the front of the stage, go in front of the dancers and kind of be in the way. And nobody wants to see me just go change a pedal for um, during the show when there's dancers on stage doing uh, more entertaining stuff than just pressing a stomp box. So my idea is to run a MIDI cable and control this from the riser on this side. So for this, I am choosing to use the HXFX. I have had my HXFX for a long time and I've kind of, not that I've retired it, but I don't really use my pedal board anymore. And if I do, I usually use my HX stomp because that also serves as a backup to the amp. So I thought this would be a perfect time to break out the HXFX and use this as my MIDI controller for my Helix so that I can make my changes from two different places at the same time. Um, I just got a 25 foot MIDI cable from my friends at Zounds. So, Let's get started. Um, I'm gonna do this without HX Edit too. My laptop is being in, being used because my laptop is where I usually do all my stuff. I know there's a computer behind me, but my laptop is usually my Helix and my video um, computer. So it's kind of out of commission. We're running our whole lighting show off of my Helix. So it's off my Helix. You think I do enough of these? I'm running the whole, we're running the whole lighting show off of my laptop. So that's out of commission for the moment. So I'm just going to start by plugging in the MIDI to the out of the controller. So if I'm using the HXFX as the controller, I want to send messages out. So I want to make sure that that's right. And that's going to the MIDI in on my Helix. My Helix is on the floor right now. I'll show you that as I get it working. And first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in the right mode. As you can see here, on the board, we have our preset menu. So first you want to go to mode and uh, make sure you're on a blank preset, select your blank preset, get off of snapshots if you're on there. Make sure you're in a blank preset like this. Keep in mind, I've never done this before, so we're hoping that, uh, hoping all goes well here. So we're gonna keep this as none. We're gonna hit the three dots at the top, and we are gonna go to our command center. And now down here, you have the amount of commands. So we have six commands that we could send, um, or six commands that we can do, whatever you wanna call it. And these are foot switch options. So as I press foot switch, um, bottom middle one, this is what foot switch four, five, six, foot switch six. This is allowing me to select which, which button is getting this command. So if I look at my helix, there's really only, actually there is probably six things that I want to do here. So first I have foot switch one on my Helix that I want to make as a bypass. So I am going to have my command set up for, um, yep, I want it on this top left one. So foot switch one, that's good. And now for my command, I'm gonna change this to um, CC toggle. Hopefully that's coming out on camera where you could see that says CC toggle. MIDI channel, we're gonna keep it bass. 
And now I'm going to use the, the manual for Helix and I'm gonna look for foot switch number one. CC value 49 should be foot switch one. So I'm going to turn this until I get to 49. Forty-nine, and is that it? Zero to twenty-seven. Yep, we want zero and twenty-seven, so that it um, we want this to be latch. Yep, we want that to be a latching foot switch, and that should be it. And now, awesome. The uh, the change is being reflected on my helix. This is gonna get interesting here. Okay, so check out foot switch one. It's this one down here. My God, this is looking funny. So pressing it on the HX effects and you see the changes happening in real time right there on the Helix. So this is integrating perfectly. Really happy with that so far. But now I don't want this to say CC toggle. So I'm gonna hit action, customize, bottom foot switch here, bottom middle. And I'm going to make this, what is it? light orange is the normal drive color just for my own brain and I'm going to change this title to what do I have that what's up there that's my Diana drive so I'm just going to name it here and I'm doing this just the same way that um same way you normally would do it so turning the big knob gets me to uh the point where I could change the letter and I'm going to just go through this so there, I can. I don't know if you can see this on the screen, hopefully you can. I renamed this label Diana, and I'm gonna hit okay, and now it says Diana for foot switch one. That change is being reflected in real time. Something very important, press save early, press it often, make sure that this preset is saved as something that um, <laughs> you're gonna remember and use. I'm just hitting save before I even try to rename it so I don't change something up on accident. Next thing I want to do, I'm pretty much just going to repeat the same process. So I'm going to move a little bit quicker. Command center. And for this now, I want this to be foot switch four. Command is CC toggle. CC number. Okay, this on my helix is foot switch seven. Foot switch seven is 54. Okay, so changing my CC number to 54. 54. 0 to 27, latching, great. Um, that should be done. Hit home. Great, that is happening on my Helix on the floor as I'm looking. And now we're gonna go to customize, action, customize. And this I'm going to change to, all right, so now we got my horizon drive on the bottom switch there. Um, let's change that color. I forgot to change the color, come on, man. And the switch, light orange again. Okay, so I know that that's a drive, that's my Horizon, that's my Diana, that's great. All right, I'm gonna fast forward um, till the end of the video and uh, show you the final product. I'll put the two side by side so that you could see what this looks like um, completely done. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep an eye out for the whole show that's coming out. I'll put a link to last year's show. Um, every year we film this and put it out there. So if you wanna check out last year's show, get in the Christmas spirit and check out some of the music that we played and what the show is like. Put links to that below. And by the time our real, our show from this year comes out, there's a 16 time Emmy award winning team filming it this year. So it's going to be really something special. I'll put links to that as well once that's out. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And I'll take a look at what this looks like as a completed setup. Okay. So here's my regular board where I could turn things on and off. You see my delay pedal down there. And now when I press here, you see that same switch going on and off. Uh, my boost is that Cali Q graphic and, and you see that going. That's working awesome. The cool one is this reverb swap. Um, I've done this in a few presets, but where you see those reverbs the, like this is a more ambient, puts delay and reverb on, and that is just reverb, and I am doing that by pressing here. And the changes are being reflected on the board. The only thing that I have to worry about here is if I turn something on, so say I turn on the air parent, the change isn't reflected on here, so if I press this on, 
it will instantly toggle it. So if it's on one and off on the other, it won't, um, it won't be in sync, which doesn't necessarily bother me. I'll just be conscious of what I'm doing here. So anytime you press this, it'll turn it on and off the same way it will if you press it from here. So right now, I can turn this set to off, right? So say it's off on the controller. I can turn it on from here, but that change is not reflected on the controller. So that light is still off. And now if I press it on here, you'll see that light go out, but now it's on the controller, but off in the preset. So that's something I have to keep in mind um, to make sure that this is in sync with itself and um, hopefully not get too confused about that. But that shouldn't be a problem.